Welcome to the first solution video for 100 days of code with here. For those who have uh, stumbled upon this video accidentally, uh, we at here technologies are running a series called 100 days of code with here. The aim of the series is to get you acquainted with location technology through APIs that here has to offer. Uh, now starting the 1st of April, we've been posting one task every day through our Twitter handle at here dev. You'll find the link in the description below. And we'll be doing this for a total of 100 days. And every five days, we'll be posting a blog and a video with solutions for the previous five days. So at the end of 100 days, not only will you learn about your map APIs and documentation, but you will also learn the basics to build a location technology based application on your own. Think of it like uh, a food delivery app or a car sharing app, or even visualizing data on top of a map. So. Uh, let's begin. My name is Shruti Kuber and I work as a developer evangelist at Here Technologies. And today we will be looking at the solutions for day one through five or rather day zero through five. You can also skip to the part you want. Uh, the links for the different parts are in the description below. So let's begin. So now the first thing I want you to do is go to developer.here.com. This is where you'll find everything you need. And the task for day zero is essentially get your credentials by signing up for a freemium account at developer.here.com. So here we are. And once you go on developer.here.com, you click on get started for free. Once you do that, you will see that you get the plan freemium, which has 250,000 transactions per month, which are free. So while signing up for a freemium account, you will not be entering any uh, card details and you will get 250,000 transactions free for every month. So let's enter this. So you just have to enter your email ID a password, select the region that you're logging in from. I'm going to select Germany, so it's not Deutschland, it's in G. So yeah, here it is. And then some security checks. That's pretty much it. So you saw that you have a premium plan of zero euros per month. And again, you can see what all you can get in this premium plan. Throughout the 100 days of code, you will never have to pay us anything. So it's essentially free. And then you can see that you have transaction details on your left in your project page. And then you have your API keys for JavaScript, REST, Android, and iOS. So I'm going to generate my API keys for JavaScript and REST because during the 100 days of code, we will be using uh, initially JavaScript APIs, and then we'll also start using some REST APIs. So click on create a key. Now it is important to not disclose your key to anyone. So copy this key and keep it safe because the transactions are associated directly with the key and so with your account. So now we are done with the 100 uh, days or the zeroth day of the 100 days of code. Again, uh, let's let's uh, see what we've done. What we've done is essentially created a account, a premium account, and then generated credentials for it. I'm going to copy my credentials in this file here, uh, and just you can use any naming convention you want. And I'm going to use this and paste my key here. You can directly put your key in the code, or you can do it. You can save it in another. Uh, document called uh, credentials.js and then use this here. So now let's move on to the day one of 100 days of code. So the day one says that you need to create a page frame uh, of a simple HTML JavaScript web page and then add the here map services and, uh, and core to the head section. So one more thing I would like to add is uh, if you have not done it yet, create a repository called 100 days of code with here on a GitHub and then use GitHub to host this web page. So this is not compulsory, but if you use this, you won't really have to bother about hosting this application. 
and then you'll get in a habit of using version control which is a must have habit for every developer so i've already cloned my repository i have this index.html basic html page and then the task is to add the map core and map services within the head section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to do this so if you go to developer.here.com if you go to the documentation page the documentation is laid out in a very intuitive manner in a way that you have maps first you load the map and then you use services on top of it so i'm going to go to the javascript interactive map section and when you click on get started you will see that the first task is the exact day 1 of 100 days of code is to load the um map core and then map service into your application so i'm just going to copy this for you and put it in the head section now i do not need this part so i'm going to delete it i already have it let's see and then you also want the maps uh the map services so i'm going to copy this again and change this part out so what i'm doing is essentially adding the sources for this for the javascript apis that you're going to use that's it as as simple as it gets so you we have completed the task 1 of 100 days of code now let's quickly jump on to the task 2 or day 2 of 100 days of code So this is to create a division for holding the map. Uh the division has a certain width and height and color and then to initialize the platform with the javascript key api key that we created. So let's get on with it. Create a body for this page. And within the body I'm going to create a division or a div. Now this div should have an id which we will be using to contain our map. So I'm going to call it a map container. and then the style was to have a certain width so i'm going to have it as 100% of my um viewport width i want the height to be 80% of my viewport height i want it to be aligned to the center so i'm going to do a self align or or align self to the center and then what else yes the background so i'm going to have a background color and you can select anything you want this is just to show you where we are going to load the 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 uh, map so there we have we have a div and the next part is to initialize the map or initialize the platform with an api key so what we are going to do is we have our api key and we have the map services so we are going to initialize a map platform with this api key so what i want is a script tag and within the script tag i'm going to add again you can see this that if you go to initialize in the documentation you'll see the same thing so i'm going to use this and i'm going to initialize a variable called platform in that i'm calling the here platform service the here map platform and then giving it my api key so in the api key section i'm going to use the one i used before so <coughs> the api key that i saved will go here so i have your creds dot js key i'm using the javascript key because we are using the javascript apis right now so if i save this and i try to run this you will see a box of the width and height that we decided and with the color and our our map will actually go into this box so that was day 2 of 100 days of code now we can quickly go to day 3 So now day 3 is to define the center of the map with a latitude and longitude and that is how we associate or we we write location 
and then initialize a vector map with default layer center of the map and zoom level. So again, we are going to make a variable and store our location. Ideally, you could take it from the, uh, from the browser itself if your browser allows for it. So I'm going to save it as my position and then latitude and longitude is saved as in this format. So you have lat and something and LNG. So for longitude and something. And so this is the standard format that we use in our application for uh, mentioning location. And now the easiest way to do that is to go to vigo.here.com and uh, type in any place you want. So I'm going to choose the here Berlin office. And if I click on this in the address bar above, I will get the latitude and longitude of the place. So that's the easiest way you can get a latitude and longitude. So I'm going to copy this part. And that's my latitude and longitude. So now I have my position. Now I need to initialize a vector map with default layer center of map and zoom level. So again, I go back to my documentation. Now in the documentation, you can see that we are initializing a default layer of the map. So I'm going to select this and initialize the default layer and the map initialize it with the center and the zoom level, right? Now, if you see the center or the, the center here is a default one, I'm going to use what we actually saved. So my position is the center. And if you can see the map container, so it's a very important to have the same ID as the div ID that we created. What we're doing here essentially is telling the map to load in this particular division. And then uh, we are using the default layers that we initialized and we want a vector normal map. Again, to, if you want variations in this, you can check the blog. Uh, the blog will also tell you what other variations exist as well as you can go through the documentation section. So I'm going to save this and run and this should give me a map, hopefully. Let's see. So I think I have, oh, so now I get it. So I have saved my credentials in a file called credentials.js, but I have not added this file here. So let me quickly add this file here. So the file is called credentials.js. There you go. And then the type is text JavaScript. There you go. So now this should definitely give me, there you go. This gives me a map. Now, if you notice this map cannot be zoomed into, there's nothing really I can do. I cannot pan it, there's nothing to it. So then we can go on to the next section, which is day four, which gives us a map UI. So the task for day four of 100 days of code was to add zoom in and zoom out buttons and then to add UI elements to change the map type after loading. So again, let's go to the um, documentation and what we want is essentially map controls and UI. So I go to the map controls and UI section and I want zoom control and the scaling bar and then the settings. So if you follow this documentation, you'll understand that what you need to have is the source for the UI. So we have the style sheet as well as the source for uh, loading the default UI for this map. So again, I'm going to copy this part here. And I do not need this. And then we also have a style sheet. Uh, this is for the basic styling of the map. You can again check the documentation to see what else styles can, how else styles can be changed or if you can set a completely different style for your map. So this is it. And then I need to add a UI, I'd add the UI element or initialize the UI. So again, the default UI, I will create this by calling 
this function and if now if I refresh this I should get a plus and minus sign so I'm able to zoom in and zoom out and then change the type of map so the satellite view the map view with traffic conditions and traffic incidents and I can see this uh, after I load the map so that's it that's we're done with the fourth day of 100 days of code now quickly moving on to day five of 100 days of code so day five is basically adding panning capability to the map so now now you can see I can zoom in and zoom out but I can't really drag and go to the next place so now dragging is essentially uh, an event a map event right so we need to add event capabilities or event handling capabilities to this map so I go to map events and then again immediately I know that I need to add handling capabilities event handling capabilities for which I need to have the source map js dash map events dot js so I'm going to copy this here and this is map events dot js right and now I want to enable the map instance enable events for the map instance so I'm going to use this so what I'm doing here is I am enabling the map events and I'm doing it for this particular map so if you remember we called our map map so again you need to make sure those variable names are same and then I want to add the basic map behavior right and the basic basic map behavior is to be able to pan so I'm going to add a map behavior to it the default map behavior and remember the spelling of behavior is the English version without the U so or rather the American version without the U so do not forget to remove the U if you're using that spelling this usually happens to me which is why I have to be extra careful so you have map behavior and then I'm giving it the basic map events so now if I refresh this I should be able to not only zoom my map but also pan it to wherever I want it to so there you go you have we have completed the 0 to 5 out of 100 days of code and again if you want to have more detailed um, explanation you can check our blog you can also check that uh, the, the documentation on this and uh, keep following us on Twitter on Twitter we are called here dev and that is where we will be posting all our tasks for every hundred days we'll also be posting small mini videos of uh, each of the um, each of the tasks so keep following us on here dev on Twitter and check out our blog post and happy coding <music>